Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today's topic is school shootings, why? Sadly, many people have lost their faith in God because they believe it's a punishment from God. However, according to the scriptures, God doesn't try anyone. The trials don't come from Him. It says in James 1.13, that when under trial, let no one say, I am being tried by God. For with evil things, God cannot be tried, nor does He Himself try anyone. So clearly, these shootings or anything bad that's happening around the world is not a punishment from God. So now that we understand that it isn't God that's causing these terrible things to happen, that begs the question, why do these shootings and killings continue to happen? That's what I'm addressing in this letter. In the first paragraph, I address the violence around the world, how it's getting out of control, and how it seems to surround us regardless of where we live. In the second paragraph, I bring up the question about why these atrocities continue to happen around the world. And the short answer is that the times we're living in have been prophesied in the Bible. In the book of 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 through 5, it explains that we would be living in critical times hard to deal with and that man would be fierce without love of goodness. In my third paragraph, I also bring out the scripture of 2 Timothy 3.13, which tells us those who don't value life will advance from bad to worse. Isn't that what we see today? At this point in my letter, I'd like to share a little bit of good news with the reader. So I bring out Psalm 37, 9, which explains that God promises to destroy all those destroying the earth and all those who are not doing His will. In the last paragraph, I refer the reader to JW.org for more information on this topic. And I explain that all resources are free, that no personal information is required, and that we also offer a free Bible course with no obligation. And finally, here's a copy of the complete letter. 
It was a little long, but the topic is so important that I didn't want to leave anything out. Thank you for joining me in this letter writing session. Though the topic is a little sensitive, I thought it was important to address it because many people are being affected by it. So I wanted to share a little hope and let them know that God has not forgotten them and that there is hope for a better future. Which is why I encourage everyone who hasn't studied the Bible to do so and to learn a little bit more about what the future holds for everyone. If you haven't already done so, tap that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. Thanks for watching.